Cowboys, big and man, we back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, as you see. Cardi B is going to face some backlash for this video. I couldn't play the song on there because I don't want the video to get a strike and everything like that there. But, hey, Cardi B told she cut the WAP off. Soon as, uh, you know what I'm saying, the baby came through, baby culture came through the door, hey, cut that shit off. So it's going to be some backlash because, hold on, y'all promoting this, this music to our kids and our people, and they can hear these songs, but around your kids, nah, cut this shit off. Now, you're going to have backlash for that. Now, I want to be very clear. Cardi B is an entertainer. It's her job to be entertained and entertaining the people. She's a personality. She got character. She's funny. Uh, her offset got a dope family. That's her job to entertain. Sex is the number one seller business in entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Any form of sex, any form of skin, it's the number one motherfucking seller. Industries going on, all this shit that got anything to do with sex, that shit is selling, man. So they're going to sell that type of shit in the music. I'm not trying to take away from Cardi B's creativity, her music process, or what she do, but Cardi B is not the button pusher that's saying, hey, let me put out this WAP. Let me put all this money behind WAP. Let me make sure it get heard here, heard there. She just defending her brand and her name when the backlash come up on WAP. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B might have not never made a song like WAP and tried to promote it with everything going on, but hey, she's in the business. Cardi B brand, that's what they want to do. It's a teamwork thing. Now, I'm not saying Cardi B not a boss. I'm not saying Cardi B can't decline nothing, but this is just how business works. It's just like she can say, well, man, y'all out here selling motherfucking shooting guns and violence to people. You know what I'm saying? But nigga like me, I grew up where I was able to listen to motherfucking uh, as a baby, nigga, I would listen to UGK, nigga. I would listen to A Baller MJG. I would listen to Pimp C. I would listen to motherfucking Tupac Biggie. Uh, niggas that was going hard. MC Breed, nigga, too short, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I learned about pussy and hoes from them niggas. You know what I'm saying? The detail side of it as a baby in like elementary and shit. My T Lady, my people, they never hid rated R movies from me. They never hid it, hid rated R music from me either. Or or parental advisory. I could get any song I wanted. My T lady used to let me listen to this shit. Well, she gonna have a talk with me. Hey, son, you need to understand this is entertainment. This is just like wrestling. You can't go out here and curse in front of people. You can't go out here and motherfucking, hey, put your hands on nobody. You know what I'm saying? And my T lady told me, nigga, if you wanna try any of these drugs they rapping about, you need to come get that shit from me. I swear to God. I swear to God, my tea lady told me that. If you want to try some drugs, you come to me and I'll get the motherfuckers for you. That's because my tea lady wanted me to not go out here and get into no trouble, uh, fuck around off some shit because I hear music and the world, is. this is what it is now. This is what it is. Violence is sold and promoted, especially in hip hop culture. They know violence is going to sell, bro. They know people are going to look at violence. That's why you got the the news that promote violence, the media outlets that promote violence, they're never gonna admit, hey, we post negativity and we post violence, we post people getting shot, we promote sex and we po promote disrespect because it's gonna boost us up. It's gonna get traffic to our platform, therefore we can increase our bread. Record labels are never gonna say, hey, we only gonna put out albums where niggas are talking about killing niggas. Understand these artists that are record labels, they can't just go release a song talking about killing niggas. You got signed artists who talking about that. And it's been going on because they know that's what sells. They with that. How these rappers was getting blamed, NWA and all these other rappers and street gangster niggas rapping, gang banging, shooting all that shit back in the day. It's the same thing where the people in the world is mad at the rappers. They going at the rappers because they got the voice and they the face. But it's a motherfucking white man behind the scenes getting all the bread and saying, yeah, release that. Nigga come in there and make, if you a street nigga, you a gangster, you decide you start wanting to make conscious music, nigga, they going to take your fucking contract away, nigga. Nigga Cardi B coming in there and say, hey, man, I don't want to do no more stripper music. Uh, I don't want to sell sex no more. I don't want to dress up with my ass out no more. 
They, that label gonna be like, man, nigga, you done lost your motherfucking mind, girl. You better get it out there and look, look how sexy you is. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? We selling all that bullshit. We don't give a fuck. But Cardi B, she's comfortable in her own skin. I'm just giving her, you know what I'm saying, her an example. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't ride around to female female music, but I respect Cardi B for coming where she came from, from the bottom, turning that, 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 that stripper pole into motherfucking big fancy motherfucking flights of stairs in the crib, baby culture set for life. You know what I'm saying? They got a dope little family thing going on. I, I respect Cardi B for that, for being a motherfucking hustler. But they just understand it's a double side sword with this sword with this shit. Where them niggas gonna be like, hold on now. You sell a wet ass pussy. But hey, at the same time, y'all trying to match women rights. Well, I don't ever hear Cardi B just really doing that shit because she just don't give a fuck. But a lot of women are trying to match wet ass pussy with women's rights. And motherfuckers like, hold on now. Y'all on some whole other shit. And people, it's a double standard. People are more protective over bad uh, material being sold to to little girls and their daughters as opposed to selling bad content to men. It's just a double standard. The world is full of them. So shout out Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your motherfucking thing. Shout out to their whole family for shit show. But hey, there's going to be some backlash about that motherfucking video getting cut off. I just got to be all the way honest with you for shit show. Uh, follow me on Instagram. At urban politicians underscore big at uh hit the comment section, like section, all that shit, man. One thousand for shit show. Tap in, man. Stay on your motherfucking pivot.